Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to add in sorting into our Twig CRUD implementation. So sorting is going to be where we click on one of the headers and when we've clicked on it, it's going to sort it either in ascending or descending order. To add this in is really straightforward. It's a template change rather than a controller level change. We want to add it into the table headers. So we're going to start off with the ID one and we'll say KMP underscore paginator or underscore pagination, sorry underscore sortable and then we need to pass in what we're sorting on so we're going to sort on the blog posts this field we need to give it the header so this was the header of id or lowercase and then what we're actually sorting on so in this case it's going to be the id so it's bp.id because in our controller we're selecting bp uh, so that's that's where that's coming from so if we refresh this now we can see that it's become a link and when we click the link you can see stuff's been added at the top here and then when we click it again you can see that it, it all all the parameters pass through and again if we go to the next page it still works as such so when you when you swap it back you're not going to page two and it's gone the wrong way so again just to to show you we're in descending order there and then when we go to say page two we're still in descending order now interestingly we've not added this in yet for title but we could do, we could just change the URL and this is important because this is how it will work for our API. So if we sort it now by the title, we didn't need to do anything there, but you can see the titles in reverse order. Maybe if we put a better limit on so that we can see more results, so we'll say 20 results. And you can see the title is in descending order there. And if I swap it around to ascending order, you can see it's back to normal and as I say this becomes important because this is how we'll do it using the API we're not going to have any helper methods that we can click on so yeah it's just important that that that's basically all the the way that it works it's just parameters passed to the URL so we can add it in again KMP in fact let's just get rid of that duplicate the line change this one to be title with the uppercase T because that's the row header and title there refresh that and we've got the functionality built in now